I want to welcome you all to our Robert Masenik National Elementary Honor Society induction. Thank you all for taking the time out to come and share with us in this experience with your children. Uh, our first order of events, you all have the programs on your chairs, will be our uh, pillars and lighting of the candles for our pillars for character for the National Honor Society. Mrs. Horvath will introduce those. Our first pillar is scholarship, said by Suhash. Scholarship means, oh, scholarship means a commitment to learning. An NEHS member is willing to spend time reading and studying, knowing the lasting benefits of a cultivated mind. We all must continue to learn, even when formal education has ended, whether at the end of the school day, the school year, or our educational career, for education ends only with the end of life. Knowledge is one great element in life that leads to the highest success, and it, and it can be acquired in only one way, through diligence and effort. Learning furnishes the, the lamp by which we read the path and the light that illuminates the future. Members of the NEHS are challenged to continually expand their word through opportunities provided by scholarship. The next pillar is responsibility, said by Irol. Responsibility is our commitment to do what we say we are going to do. It is our obligation for doing what is right when faced with the temptation of doing wrong. Responsibility is an expression of our concern for our family. We work in a responsible manner at school to achieve our academic goals. When playing sports, we are responsible to the team by always competing with our best effort and displaying good sportsmanship. Our responsibility to our community is displayed through acts of good citizenship, respecting the laws, culture, and traditions of our part of the world. NEHS members demonstrate responsibility at home, at school, and in the community and serve as role models for our peers. We accept these new responsibilities with pride. Our next pillar is service, said by Zoe. In our day-to-day -day lives, many opportunities arise to perform service, helping others to do what they cannot do alone. This willingness to work for the benefit of those in need without the expectation of reward is the quality we seek in our members. We are committed to the idea of volunteering our time and abilities for the creation of a better tomorrow for us all. Our last pillar is leadership, said by Andrew. Our leadership as members of the National Honor so Elementary Honor Society should exert a positive influence on the school. A student leader takes the initiative in class and in school activities, striving to train and help others to reach goals. The price of our leadership is sacrifice, a willingness to yield our personal interests for the interest of others. A leader has self-confidence and will go forward when others hesitate. Leadership is needed in many aspects of our lives. So, to lead another, to lead is another important challenge to each of our members. Okay, now we're going to say the pledge. So before we do that, I would like everybody to stand up. And please repeat after me. As a member of the National Honor Society, As a member of the National Honor Society, I pledge to, I pledge to, Be a strong student achieving the most from my education. Be a strong student achieving the most from my education. Demonstrate responsibility, Demonstrate responsibility. Showing enthusiasm and working hard in all that I do. Showing enthusiasm and working hard in all that I do. Learning the skills of leadership. Learning the skills of leadership. 
practicing them in all aspects of my life. Practicing them in all aspects of my life. Be of service to my school and community. Be of service to my school and community. Showing that I care. Showing that I care. And be a role model for my peers, helping us all achieve our best. And be a role model for my peers, helping us all achieve our best. Great job. Hold on a second. At this time, I would like to invite Mrs. Angelo to do the certificates with Mrs. Martino. Okay, our fifth grade inductees. Hadia Ahmed. Zoe Awa Ampansa. Louis Castellucci. Rania Chadri. Dominic Colazzo. Zyra Dahodala. Ayan Latif. Darmic Mystery, Edward Mullen, Arjun Nair, Andrew Pilati, Maksh Patel. Cyril Souza, Javen Dua, Suhash Adiga, Daniel Gosain. Seal Jan. Angel Jagashi. Ion Quadri. Angelina Quinones. Chris Saja, <laughs> Julia Simone, <laughs> and Anch Singh. Congratulations. Now for fourth grade. Davij Agarwal, Matthew Alves, Sadant Bandal, Daita Balaji, Mahin Bhatti, Vishwa Chitta Krindi, Juliana Siano, Ion Calvin, Mackenzie Delama, Ruben Jenganthan. Sanvi Kayla, (Applause) 
Lathan Kirby. Alexandra Lello. Edward Lutz. Diani Makwana. Dylan Melovitz. Adam Maslinski. Madeline Mullen. Sanj Negron. Aryan Patel. Mahika Patel. Kayla Polanco. Kayvon Sankar. Ava Seepersod. Gabriella Sinkowitz. Carter Stark. Dylan Staruch. Reed Thind. Juliana Thompson. Shreya Turvetti. Brittany Walsh. Julia Walsh. Congratulations, fourth graders. Now it's my turn. My turn. Good morning again. Um, parents, guardians of now our newly inducted fourth and fifth grade. National Elementary Honor Society students. Again, I thank you all for coming out and joining us this morning. These students that sit before you have made achievements in the area of scholarship, service, character, and leadership, and they are being recognized for that for, uh, today. That's what our pillars and our candles represent. Um, each student that gave you the explanation of each pillar, describe what we choose as a, uh, as a committee for the National Honor Society, the students to have leadership, character, service, and scholarship, which is of utmost importance, A's and B's in school in the fourth or fourth and fifth grade. Academics are challenging enough for any student, yet all of these children have managed to make the grades, help other students that are in need of assistance, and participate activities on their free time and accomplish many things during this school year, last school year, day and night. Parents, again, without your help and support, we would not be able to have these students involved in so many activities 
in school as well as out with you driving them to and from. Believe me, it gets a whole lot easier when they get older and they drive, really. I had kids, that, three kids that did sports. It was crazy, but you make it through. They wouldn't be here without you guys. Aristotle once said, we are what we repeatedly do. Excellence is never an accident. It is always the result of high intention, sincere effort, and intelligent execution. It represents the wise choice of many alternatives. Choice, not chance, determines your destiny. Your accomplishments at Robert Masenik are only the beginning of a long road of possible educational achievements. You have viewed challenges as opportunities to grow, and you have taken advantage of all that is offered to you in the fourth and the fifth grade here at Robert Masenik. I'm sure you will continue to have a positive influence on everyone that surrounds you. You have a long educational road ahead of you, and it is just the beginning. Continue to pursue your goals and keep the dreaming of the future. To the students, remember where you've come from. Your parents do for you as you should do for them. So before we even forget, I would like for you to stand up, put your papers on your chairs, give a round of applause to your parents for doing everything you do. Your children are nothing without your support. And again, we all really appreciate that. In order for these students to get where they are, they need a good teaching staff. Not only fourth and fifth grade teachers, these students learn from the time they enter kindergarten. And of course, I'm biased, and I feel that we have one of the best teaching staffs in the district, from kindergarten up until now. Fourth grade, whoops, please stand. Ms. Bouchure, Ms. Bruno, Ms. Anderson. Our fifth grade staff, please stand. Mrs. Boyd, Mrs. Chesney, Ms. Dubay. Without our teachers, your students wouldn't be able to achieve as much as they do. And again, I feel we have a fantastic staff from kindergarten through the fifth grade. And can't beat them. Can't beat them at all. Last but not least, I would like to thank Mrs. Horvath and Mrs. Angelo for putting this all together. There are uh, two advisors for the National Honor Elementary Honor Society. Side note, and Mrs. Uh, Boyd's balloon techniques for putting our decorations together. Still don't know how she does it all. Um, but again, we would not be nothing without you guys, so thank you very much. I want to, again, thank you for coming out to share with us in this uh, occasion for these children. And I appreciate you coming out, and have a wonderful day.